Good morning, everyone. My name is Scott Bullock. I'm senior attorney at the Institute for Justice, a nonprofit public interest law firm located in Arlington, Virginia, just right outside of Washington, D.C. Central to the mission of the Institute for Justice is the protection of economic liberty, the right of all Americans to pursue a lawful occupation free of unreasonable government interference. We are in the midst of a national campaign to protect economic liberty. And that campaign brings us here to New Orleans, Louisiana. Today, we have filed a lawsuit on behalf of St. Joseph Abbey and Covington, Louisiana to challenge Louisiana's outrageous requirement that anyone who sells a casket, a wooden box, be licensed as a funeral director within the state. If they are not licensed and they sell this wooden box, they face crippling fines and even jail time. We are here to put a stop to this in federal court today. Joining uh, me today is my colleague, senior attorney, uh, Jeff Rose from the Institute for Justice, who will talk about the particulars of this case. We'll also be hearing from Abbott Justin Brown of St. Joseph Abbey, and also Deacon Mark Kudrain of St. Joseph Woodwork. Jeff, would you come talk about the lawsuit, please? Sure. Good morning. My name is Jeff Rose, and I'm a senior attorney with the Institute for Justice. This constitutional challenge is about defending the right of everyone, including monks, to earn an honest living free from unreasonable government interference. What you see in front of you is a casket that the monks make. A casket is just a box. It has four sides, a top, and some upholstery inside. But for the sin of selling this casket to the public, the state of Louisiana can put you in jail for up to 180 days, and in the case of Abbott Justin and Deacon Mark Kudrain, they have issued subpoenas, conducted investigations, and are now threatening them with fines of up to $2,500 for every casket that they sell. There is no reason to require a license to sell what is just a wooden box. The only reason this licensing law is on the books and the only reason the state is enforcing it is to protect the interests of the powerful funeral lobby. The licensed funeral directors want to keep the lucrative funeral market all to themselves. And one way to do that is write a law that doesn't allow anyone else into business. The monks of St. Joseph Abbey are ready to go all the way to the Supreme Court if that's what it takes to vindicate the right to earn an honest living for Americans everywhere. The Constitution provides for economic liberty. That means the right to earn an honest living without unreasonable government interference. And that's what's at stake here today. Um, I'd like to introduce Abbott Justin Brown, uh, who is the head of St. Joseph Abbey, and he'll talk a little bit about what they do at the Abbey and what um, making caskets means to them. Good morning. I'm Abbott Justin Brown of St. Joseph Abbey, and I would like, on behalf of the monks of St. Joseph Abbey, to thank the Institute for Justice, our local council, Evans Schmidt, uh, for joining us, for teaming up with us in this constitutional challenge. For 1,500 years, Benedictine monks have been involved in free enterprise. Uh, we are men not only of prayer, but we are men also who have been known to be entrepreneurs, uh, making uh, an honest living by the labor of our own hands. Uh, we are here today because we feel that our right to economic freedom uh, is being denied us. Um, all we want to do is to be able to uh, construct craft and build these simple wooden coffins uh, to sell to our friends, associates, and the general public. Uh, we got into uh, the business of making coffins uh, for the public because of numerous requests over the years 
uh, by people who had attended the funeral of one of the monks at the Abbey and walked away saying, I would like to have one of those coffins. Uh, people have also attended funerals of, of parish priests and even a couple of bishops who had requested our coffins and they called us and said, I would like to buy one of your coffins. We also began St. Joseph Woodworks two years ago in the selling of these caskets because we are not a wealthy monastery and we were hoping that the income we could generate from the sale of these coffins would help us to meet the educational and the health care needs of our monks. would also enable us to continue our primary ministry of operating St. Joseph Seminary College and our retreat house, the Christian Life Center, uh, both of which are not sources of income for us. So we would like to see the day when we can freely um, operate St. Joseph Woodworks without any unreasonable uh, government restrictions. All we want to do is to be able to sell these simple wooden caskets uh, to our friends, to the general public, to anyone who asks us for one. Thank you. Deacon Mark? My name is Deacon Mark Kudrain. Um, I've been a deacon of the Archdiocese of New Orleans for since 2006. And years ago, after being ordained, I uh, felt like God needed, wanted me to move on. And he uh, put in my heart that I need to go help the monks, like I could be a big savior there. But through past experience in woodworking, uh, we saw the opportunity that we could make caskets, coffins for those that have asked for them for so many years. Uh, we make these very simple, just like the Benedictine lifestyle. We understand the theology of death, which is our bodies are returned to the ground and our souls go to another place. We want to create something where the temple of the Holy Spirit dwelt uh, throughout our life. We just want to do a simple box and for our, that matches our simple lifestyle. So in building these caskets, we, we work hard with prayer and care. And we, we pray for those who will be using our boxes. Uh, we believe strongly in that. And so we just would like to be able to do our work without getting cease and desist letters, without being threatened with prison and heavy fines, so that we can continue to do what God has asked us to do. Thank you. Thank you all very much for coming. If you have any questions, we'd be happy to entertain them, either the lawyers or, or the monks. I really do. I, uh, my father actually asked me to build his casket 12 years ago. And uh, he died two years ago and I was able to build his casket. So I guess God started that a long time ago and felt like, you know, this is a calling. I really do believe it is. Exactly what were you asking in the lawsuit? What we're asking, what we're asking the federal court to do is to defend their right to earn an honest living, which means entering an injunction which tells the state that they can't stop the monastery from making their simple wooden box caskets. How many sold for you stop? Um, actually, I'm, uh, let's, how many, how many have we sold? Approximately 60. The, the, the Abbey has sold between 50 and 60 caskets before the state came down on them. We think the chances of succeeding are excellent in this lawsuit. Although it's true that a federal court in Oklahoma upheld a law like this, um, federal courts in Tennessee and then state courts in Georgia and a federal court in Mississippi have struck them down. And in fact, casket sales are a hot constitutional issue because the reason behind uh, restrictions on casket sales have to do with protecting special interest groups that have argued for these laws. The essence of this lawsuit is saying that the government cannot restrict people's economic liberty just to protect the financial interests of special interest lobby groups. And this is a question that the Supreme Court ultimately is going to have to answer. And this case may be the one they use to answer it. Jeff, in your opinion, is there any rationale for this current state law, you know, to make, no. the, making sure that the boxes are you know, acceptable? 
acceptable No, there is no legitimate rationale for requiring a license for a casket. You don't even need a casket to be buried in Louisiana or any other state. You can be buried directly in the ground. You can have, be buried in a bed sheet. This is just a box. That's it. The only reason the law exists and the only reason they're enforcing it is to protect the profits of a private industry group. That just misses the point. The monks have a right to, sit, to make and sell their caskets to the public. That's economic liberty. The monks are entrepreneurs like everyone else, and the, it is not the business of the government to put licensed funeral directors between the monks and the public. Are there any other questions? Uh, we'll be here to answer any other questions you might have. Uh, you can talk to... Um, Abbott Justin or, or Deacon Mark, and thank you very much uh, for attending today.